I am currently 1,000 meters deep in the void, surrounded by three adult ghost leviathans, and I have to make it to the surface alive using only what I have with me. From there, my goal is to save the five cuttlefish scattered around the crater in five different bases, located in some of the most dangerous biomes in Subnautica. I'm going to be attempting to complete this challenge as quickly as possible, so ladies and gentlemen, this is going to get interesting. Alright, I've loaded into the world and waited long enough for all three ghost leviathans to spawn in, which yes, is a part of the challenge. Time is going to start as soon as I move, so when I do move, I'm going to quickly grab all the stuff out of the locker, and then I'll be leaving right away. Okay, three, two, one, here we go. Alright, let's grab the stuff, there we go, and now we are immediately exiting. Okay, I have literally no idea where the ghost leviathans are. We're going to be heading towards the surface as quickly as possible. I can hear one behind me right over there. We need to be going. We can't afford too many hits from these guys because we're going to need our med kits for later. Oh, oh that might be a hit though. Oh, it somehow missed. What the heck? How did it miss? Oh my gosh. Okay, never mind. It didn't miss. Okay, we're going to be using two of these. Oh, I can't see a thing. Okay, we need to be going. All right, we need to be going. One hit is okay. Two hits would be really not good, and three hits would kind of mean we're dead. Okay, I don't think they're behind us anymore. Okay, I can hear one still, though. Oh no, they're still with me. Never mind. Yeah, they're still with me. One's coming after me, though. But I think we're safe now because we've just entered the dunes biome. The game no longer thinks we're in the void, which we're going to use to our advantage. Let's go ahead and grab some resources. Now that I had escaped the depths of the void, I had to make it to the five bases scattered around the crater, but doing that would be no easy feat. I was going to need some equipment to help me reach them. First, I would need a high capacity tank for additional oxygen, which required four quartz, seven titanium, and one silver. Second, I would require a reinforced dive suit to protect me from the lava zone, which required three blood oil, one fiber mesh, two diamonds, and two more titanium. Then finally, I was going to need a radiation suit to protect me from the radiation emitted by the aurora, which would cost me two fiber mesh and two lead. I already had all the fiber mesh I was going to need from the locker at the start, which meant all I needed was 9 titanium, 4 quartz, 1 silver, 2 lead, 3 blood oil, and 2 diamonds. There's a decent amount of resources right here, so let's go ahead and grab them. There we go, we need that silver and we need that lead. We're also going to need this metal salvage and this quartz. Interesting, okay, we need one more lead. Can we get lucky? We can get lucky. Okay, we have all the lead and the silver we're going to need. We just need titanium and quartz at this point. We also need to go up to get air relatively soon. I don't see a whole lot of resources nearby, so I'm going to grab these two right here, and then we can go to the surface. Okay, here we go. We have escaped the void, but we need to be really careful because we are in the dunes biome, and there are tons of reaper leviathans, so we can't get too comfortable just yet. All right, let's go ahead and fill up on air. Let's drink some water. We're going to need six more titanium, I believe. And then I believe we're going to need three more quartz. Okay, base one is 1700 meters in that direction. So it's going to take a little bit to get there. And in the meantime, I need to be careful of reapers, but I want to try and get that six titanium. And of course, that three quartz. Literally have no idea where the reaper is though. So we need to be very careful. All right, if we could find one more metal scrap, that would be ideal. I would not complain if I got two either, though. Let's see what this is. More titanium. We need five more now. Ooh, there's two quartz. Awesome. Ooh, and a metal scrap. Perfect. Okay, I believe we just need one more titanium and one more quartz at this point. There is the quartz. Man, we're doing this really quickly. We're getting really lucky with these resources. We just need one more titanium, and we're good to move on towards base one, which is 1,200 meters in that direction. Oh, a little warper. I'm gonna try and avoid him. Oh, man. I do not like warpers. They literally give me PTSD from the first time I played this game. Come on, we just need one more piece of titanium. Looks like we have some metal salvage right here, so let's go ahead and pick that up, and I think we're good to go. I think we can move on to base one now. Now, base one is going to be in the blood kelp, so we still can't really get comfortable yet. There are still tons of things that can kill me in that biome, and I'm hearing a reaper too. Ooh, he's right over there. All right. Oh, and there's a warper. Okay, I do not like this at all. Please leave me alone. 
alone. We still have a decent ways to- Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Okay, we still have a decent ways to go, as I was saying before that warper literally jump scared me. I hate those things so much. Oh, and hey, sand shark. Jeez, this is a nightmare, man. Okay, we're getting pretty close. We're going to have to go up for air before we head down into the blood kelp, though. Only about 700 meters to go, though. Oh my gosh! Okay, I literally saw the shadow. Okay, that actually scared me so much. I was not paying attention to what was happening on my screen. And then I look back and I see the shadow. Oh my goodness gracious. All right, we're gonna... Oh, we need to go for air now. This is not good. Please don't see me, Reaper Leviathan. Please don't see me. Getting hit by the Reaper Leviathan would really not be good. All right, let's get air. And where am I going? Where am I going? This direction. Okay, where is that Reaper Leviathan? right there okay hello buddy don't mind me i'm just minding my own business oh my gosh dude please don't see me bro oh my gosh i have no idea how he has not seen me yet but i am not complaining all right i think he's going away and we're getting pretty darn close to the blood cup now i think i can make it down with the oxygen i have so i don't think we need to worry about getting another breath of air all right i believe this is the blood cup right over here here yep there's the trench and on our way down we need to grab three blood oil i think we have inventory space oh there's a warper but we need to grab that before we head to the base which is only 200 meters away come on we got this i'm just gonna grab the blood oil from this blood vine right here one oh my inventory is full that is really not good what can i drop let's drop this this one of these metal salvages, I suppose. I don't know why I have three of those. I don't know why I have three of those. We need to drop one more thing. I'm just going to go ahead and eat this food. And then we grab one more. And then we move on. Okay. I have no idea how I got those three salvages. I must have picked three up and just not realized it. Anyways, that's really weird. Okay, I still think we have enough titanium. Yeah, I have no idea how I got that extra salvage. Well, let's go ahead and turn all that stuff into titanium. We're also going to craft the benzene. And then we craft the standard O2 tank. We're also going to need to craft the glass as well. Two glass. There we go. And I believe we have everything for the high capacity tank. Now, this high capacity tank provides me with 90 additional seconds of oxygen, which is going to be extremely useful later on. Um, I don't think we need all this titanium. We don't need this copper. So I think we can actually go ahead and drop it now. Let's not forget to grab the cuttlefish here because that's the only reason we're actually here. And let's move on our way okay base two is 900 meters in this direction let's go ahead and drop that stuff oh i can hear the ampule behind me so we're gonna get moving actually oh boy all right let's go ahead and drop this copper too i don't think there's anything else we can drop oh and there is a crab squid hello buddy so we have almost all the resources we're going to need to complete this challenge all we need at this point is just two diamonds so we need to find those two diamonds while we're here in the lost river we need to be keeping an eye out on the walls for any diamonds otherwise we literally will not be able to complete this challenge we also need to worry about those mesmers here as well geez there's so many things that can kill me oh there's a diamond right there perfect perfect we just need one more at this point we don't really need to worry about oxygen because we have plenty of it all right um we're getting pretty close to base two and we're still missing that one diamond okay we finally found the second diamond Jeez, i was starting to think we wouldn't be able to find it i know there are like tons of diamonds here but man i just couldn't seem to find one and there's a river plowler right behind me okay man that was way more stressful than it needed to be but i believe we have all the materials we're going to need for this entire challenge we have plenty of oxygen so we're going to make it to base two all right let's fill up on our oxygen let's grab the cuttlefish and let's go ahead and craft the synthetic fibers and then we have everything for the reinforced dive suit okay that's automatically going to be on let's go ahead and drink some water we have two first aid kits left we have the oxygen i think we're good to go let's move on now while we're heading to the lava zone if i see any bladder fish i'm going to grab them because they can provide me with an additional 15 seconds of oxygen i believe which could be 
pretty useful. Ooh, there's one. Let's go ahead and grab him. There's another one. We only really need a couple of them, so um, let me just grab three and call it good. Okay, obviously the speed run of this challenge is not completely optimized. There's definitely things I could do to make it faster. Well, this is like one of my first times attempting this challenge, so it's also that. All right, we've just entered the lava zone. I really hate this place. Basically more than any other biome on this planet, dude. We need to be really careful of sea dragon leviathans base three is 1400 meters in that direction oh boy we also need to worry about warpers which are also my very favorite creature of all time at this point we literally don't need to collect anything else all we need to focus on is not dying which honestly might be a little harder than you might think because sea dragons can literally one hit us we need to avoid those guys at all costs which is pretty hard because we can't really outrun them that easily we're just gonna have to like outmaneuver them or something all right 1000 meters to go we're gonna be heading right into sea dragon leviathan territory we're also probably gonna have to switch oxygen tanks at some point as well all right and there's the lava castle up ahead oh boy what the heck was that that was copper ore that just literally hit me in the face okay that is something i have never seen before all right this is literally sea dragon central right over here oh boy we need to be really careful i don't see one just yet just gonna try and go along the bottom here oh there's one i have no idea where it might be though i'm gonna go ahead and switch oxygen tanks now 300 meters to go to base three come on baby we got this where's the sea dragon i don't know but i'm hearing it shooting fireballs and i don't like it oh it's right behind me okay so there's one sea dragon behind me but there's also one that spawns right over here as well oh 150 meters come on baby we got this we got this the base is literally right over here come on please sea dragon don't ambush me that would be amazing i think we've made it guys wow all right that was mildly stressful let's go ahead and grab the third cuttlefish we're gonna have to worry about inventory space at some point we don't really need to craft anything so we literally oh we need to fill up oxygen tanks though oh i almost forgot that would have been really bad but yeah we don't need to craft anything here so we're just going to be on our way now and hello sea dragon leviathan somewhere over here i would love if you would just leave me alone we're gonna try and follow this wall over here to try and avoid oh avoid him i don't like this man i really don't like this we can like try and hide in these trenches if he comes over but i would love for it to not come to that I believe this is the exit here the base is somewhere up here i don't want to like try and find the beacon because i just want to move out of the lava zone because as i said i literally hate this biome sea dragons are literally the worst and i think some of you who've seen my previous videos might know why i really don't like those guys actually the beacon is right over there 1000 meters to go we should have the oxygen we need and there is a ghost leviathan up here so we do need to be very wary of that they'll be spawning in any second now oh hello warper please just leave me alone i don't want to take some damage from you all right base four i believe we head in this direction and there's the ghost leviathan please don't see me that would be awesome again i think we're good on oxygen all right 500 meters to go i think we got this to be honest all right i can see the base and we're only 100 meters away and there we go let's immediately grab the cuttlefish i think we have enough space but let's go ahead and craft the radiation suit because we're going to be going near the aurora and we're going to need it there we go our inventory is full okay we're gonna have to drop some stuff um if i drop this there we go perfect that is perfect honestly um i don't think we need to do anything else here we have the full oxygen tank oh let's put on the radiation gloves i almost forgot actually let's keep the rebreather on for now until we actually start running into the radiation but yeah let's head out of here and make for the surface and then we'll be heading to base five which is 2000 meters man that's really far away all right there are some threats in this biome as well including reapers that sometimes wander over from the mountains and there's of course like amp eels and bone sharks so we need to be pretty careful Oh, hello, Karab Bone Shark. 
All right, base five is in this direction. Let's head for the surface. We don't have to head there really quickly. We can kind of travel while we're heading for the surface at the same time. Oh, and there's the radiation. Let's go ahead and put on the helmet. There we go. We're probably gonna have to take off the radiation helmet later when we actually make our final descent towards base five, which by the way, if you didn't know, is in the void. So yeah, we, we started in the void and we're going to end in the void. It's gonna be crazy. Oh yeah, we're also going to be going through the crash zone to get there. Uh, also one of my favorite biomes. Let's go ahead and grab oxygen. I can hear the reapers. Wonderful. I'm going to have to head around the aurora probably. I literally have no idea where the reaper leviathans are, bro. I literally have no idea. I can't see in this murky- Oh my god! As I was saying, it's hard to see in this murky water. But I want to kind of stay to the surface as long as possible to avoid those guys. At some point, we're gonna have to head down. Wait, can I come through here? I don't actually know. Maybe we can? I, I literally don't know, dude. We might have to go around, actually. Yep, we're gonna have to go around oh i don't like this man 1500 meters no reaper encounters just yet although i've been pretty close to them and the aurora hitbox is really janky i was like running into nothing back there it's really weird oh i know there's a reaper that spawns away right here so i'm gonna try and make for the surface yeah that's what i was talking about that weird hitbox i just ran into and i was just thinking what if i did this with the gargantuan leviathan mod installed that would be actually crazy honestly maybe we could do that if you guys enjoyed this video let me know if you want me to do that Oh, speaking of leviathans, yeah, he's right there. All right, we need to be going. Please don't see me, buddy. Please don't see me. Oh, there he is, man. I'm going to try and wait till he goes away, and then I'll begin my descent. All right, I'm going to begin my descent now. I don't know where the reaper is, but I'm just going to go for it. All right, I'm going to put on my rebreather so I can actually breathe better and not waste oxygen. I am going to take a little bit of damage, but that should be okay. All right, we're approaching the crater edge. We are taking a decent amount of damage, which I don't love. But we're just going to take a med kit right before we head down into the void, and hopefully we should be fine. 665 meters, and there's a reaper. Oh boy, I don't like that. Okay, I believe this is the... The void yep okay the radiation went away perfect let's go ahead and take a first aid kit so we don't get one shot by a ghost leviathan and let's begin our descent okay we want to stay over to the side as much as possible so we can stay in the dunes biome we have 500 meters to go we want to try and make it there before the ghost leviathan spawn although i don't know if we're going to actually be able to do that 400 meters baby i think it still thinks we're in the crash zone i think i said the dunes back there but i meant the crash zone my bad all right 300 meters i think it still thinks we're in the crash zone wonderful i am not complaining in the slightest 250 meters come on it still thinks we're in the crash zone somehow 100 meters all right i'm going for it boys i don't care screw it i'm going for it i'm going for it oh no there we go thanks we're in the void now we should have enough oxygen i think we made it i think we literally outplayed the ghost leviathans i think we made it okay the time is going to stop as soon as we grab the cuttlefish and boom oh i'm out of place i'm out of space no uh, uh, there we go okay time stops there oh my gosh man i didn't think space was gonna be a problem in that it actually made my time a little bit longer but hey we got all five cuttlefish as you can see that challenge was honestly so much fun man like seriously that was crazy stressful but also so rewarding oh my gosh wow okay that was pretty fast too i think obviously i think it could have been sped up a little bit but that was pretty darn fast we literally started this video on one side of the crater in the void and ended it on the complete opposite side of the crater also in the void bro dude that's so crazy to think about like we literally traveled like thousands of kilometers bro with a freaking sea glide and basically nothing else but yeah honestly that went almost flawlessly as we can see we have a nice job we have a congrats sign and then ooh, look at that sign I, I really like that sign i wonder who could have possibly made that honestly something tells me whoever made that is just like like really smart and you should really listen to that advice but anyways if you do want to try this challenge out for yourself check the links in the description and i think in the pinned comment and maybe see if you can beat my time i don't know there's definitely a whole lot of optimizing you can do so yeah if you do beat my time comment what you got but yeah this video was super fun to make and i really hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys in the next challenge. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing. It's free and it helps me a ton. Huge thanks to my patrons over at Patreon. Baby Yoda, Fake Frames, Moon Lord, Sean, Skeptic, and Tangy. If you want to be awesome, become a patron and support today. And I will see you guys in the next video.